Can your hockey cards make you as rich as you think? A Wayne Gretzky rookie card? What's it really worth? I'm going to let you know. Hey, I'm Ken Reed. Welcome to another edition of Hockey Card History, now presented by Tim Horton's NHL Trading Cards, available in restaurants right now. This is the deal. I get calls all the time. My hockey cards, I got them. They're worth a ton. They're in mint condition. I got news for you. They probably are not. Five cards in my hand right now. If these were all in pristine mint condition, I'd be holding over $750,000 worth of cardboard, but I'm not. Here's why. We're going to start with this 51-52 Maurice Richard, graded by SGC. Lots of grading companies out there. We'll talk about SGC, PSA, back in. SGC, they've graded 81 of these cards. How many have come back in pristine condition? Absolutely zero. A PSA 10 recently sold for 52,000 bucks. How many PSA 10 Richards are there? Five. A PSA 10 has to be absolutely perfect. This card, I love it, but it's not absolutely perfect. It's rated a 10, four by SGC. Still worth about 1,300 bucks and it's mine, so I'm cool with it. So a lot of you may dig through your closet and lo and behold, you unearth a 71, 72 OPG Ken Dryden. I absolutely love this card. This is raw, which means it hasn't been graded by a PSA or by a Beckett. PSA, they've graded 833 of these cards. A whopping 11, 11 have come back in perfect condition. So when you're saying your card is mint, it's perfect, it's probably not. It might be, but the odds are low. But still, embrace the fact that you have a Beautiful hockey card of a guy who came out of nowhere, well, Cornell, and led the Habs to a Stanley Cup back in the spring of 1971. Still, raw condition. This one probably grades about X, X mint. Got a little ding in the lower left hand corner. Still, I'm thinking 250 to 300 bucks. So not so bad, just so you know, an 8.5 recently went for three grand. One of the things I love about collecting hockey cards is I go back in time and dig out stuff I had from when I was a kid. This one used to be stored in my old Dow Skate hockey block. It's an 86-87 OPG Patrick Wall. Apparently I didn't play with it that much because it's still in pretty good shape. I had it graded by Beckett. Came in at an 8.5, which is impressive, but 8.5, not perfect. Man, I really do hope you have a perfect Patrick Wall hockey card, but chances are slim. If you're wondering, a PSA 10, Patrick Wall. Now get this, they graded, what, 2,494 of them, only 86 have come back PSA 10, and a 10 recently sold for $7,000 on eBay. Swan plays it around on the board, Mullen trying to keep it in, a shot for those back in front, oh, Patrick Waugh's got him. Unbelievable save by Patrick Waugh. So, the kid who came out of nowhere to lead the Habs to a cup in 86, well, he's still worth quite a bit on cardboard, but just so you know, when we're talking cardboard, every little detail counts, we're talking corners. Centering. I mean, look at this card. It's almost perfect, but not quite. One of the hottest cards on the market today, 1966 Topps Bobby Orr. The Bobby Orr Rookie. If you think you have a perfect Bobby Orr Rookie card, you don't. PSA has never graded the Bobby Orr Rookie card a perfect 10. I'm going to tell you why. This card with the old wood borders from 66, the borders chipped easily. So pretty much every Bobby Orr out there, it's marked up. That is just a fact. Now, just because it's not 10, doesn't mean it's not worth a lot of money. PSA 9 recently sold, I'm talking February 2019, by Leland's Auction House for 204,000 US. This beauty of mine, I got it a few years back, and man, it's vaulted in value. I'm talking tripled in the last few years. You look at this one, there's dings on all the corners. You know what, it's still got a nice little gloss to it and it's still a Bobby Orr rookie card and even in 2.5, good plus, man, this one could still probably fetch me uh, two to $3,000. When we're talking about hockey cards, 
this is the holy grail. 7980 OPG Wayne Gretzky rookie card. Two in the history of the universe have been graded 10 by PSA. The all-time record paid for a PSA 10 Wayne Gretzky rookie, 465,000 US. If you think I'm sitting on 465,000 US here, no. Sadly, no. Let's take a look and let's explain why this one is not worth 465,000 US. Even though Gretzky scored so many great goals, my card though, little dinged up. Take a look at that Oilers logo. Before I owned it, some Mensa candidate wrote on it in marker. Don't know why. I would never write on a Wayne Gretzky rookie card, but once upon a time, a dude did. The corners, eh, not perfect. You can see a little ding action there. Is there a crease? I don't think so, but still, yeah, there's a crease in the upper right-hand corner. That's a fact. So, this one is raw. I could probably put it out on the show, maybe get 500 bucks for it. If I was desperate, I'd probably take 300. Am I a rich man? No, but in my heart, I am. This story was found by my mother in a box for 10 bucks. My brother and I, we fist fought over it. Today, we still share custody of this Wayne Gretzky rookie card to me, it's priceless. And really, isn't that what card collecting is all about? Thanks for watching this edition of Hockey Card History presented by Tim Horton's NHL Trading Cards. Be sure to watch more episodes right here and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. I'm gonna open this pack. Come on, I need a Crosby. McDavid. Ooh, canvas Leon Dreisaitl. And they always reliable. Drew Doughty, see you next time.